Why should an organization implement a corporate social responsibility program? Well, I think, Wanda, that over time, uh, what's happened is that our expectations of what companies should do has shifted over time. So it used to be that it was good enough to create a good product or service and to deliver that to the marketplace. And then it was that you would treat your employees and your uh, your customers well. And now it's really the notion that you also ought to be giving back to community. So it's what we call the triple bottom line, which is that you should have an economic impact, a social impact, and a good environmental impact. And that's what people are demanding more and more of companies. That's great. And Allstate's doing a great job of that. Thank you. <laughs> what are the most critical elements of a successful corporate social responsibility program? I think that so much depends on the business that you're in um, because corporate social responsibility is really an umbrella term for a lot of what are considered in large part voluntary initiatives by a company. So things like philanthropy, uh, volunteerism, um, environmental stewardship, uh, your efforts towards diversity and creating a more diverse workforce, uh, corporate contributions, what you give to your local communities. All of those are various aspects of public social responsibility and it really depends on which elements are most pertinent to that particular organization. And what was a challenging problem you faced with your program and how did you solve it? I think one of the challenges is really getting alignment from the top to down uh, within the organization in terms of what is a pertinent and relevant program for you. So especially, well not especially, but starting with the senior level, all of us come in with our own um, biases, with our own areas of interest, and so getting alignment even among the senior management group in terms of what are those areas where we can add the most value because of the work that we do and the experience expertise that we have and then bringing that down and driving it through the organization I think is always a challenge. And uh, what was a successful program you have implemented and why was it successful? Um, I think we've had some really great success at, at Allstate uh, and I would say that our foundation program because the foundation has been around now for more than 55 years so it's a long-standing tradition at Allstate and actually giving back to community because we're so centered in the community we're there for people in their time of need um, so I think that the giving at the company has really been a long-standing program but bringing greater focus to that uh, uh, getting alignment uh, with the business and so we've created over the last five years two signature programs within the foundation we put support other things but the two signature programs are teen driving so safe teen driving as well as economic empowerment for domestic violence survivors and the teen driving people get because it's aligned very clearly with our auto insurance business uh, but the economic empowerment also is aligned with our financial services business and supporting women primarily that are in critical moments of need in their lives through economic empowerment to help them move out of domestic uh, violence situations I think are two really good programs. They are. Um, what advice would you give to organizations just beginning to develop their corporate social responsibility programs? I think just like with almost any effort, uh, the leadership has to start at the top. And at Allstate, we are very fortunate that our CEO and our senior management team actually are trustees of the foundation, and they take a really strong stewardship of that of that of that role. Um, so I think you have to really start with the leadership and get definition in terms of what their vision is and how it aligns with the corporate mission, which is the second um, tenant. Start at the top and then make sure that it aligns clearly with your corporate mission because if if you're helping the company achieve its corporate mission, you're going to get the support that you need from the leadership and you're going to get the engagement, which is the third tenant, which is engage employees engage the everyday worker around the topic. Those, I think, uh, are three really relevant uh, approaches. Excellent. Now, what metrics do you use to determine the success and return on investment for the program? I think, again, it depends on which of the program um, initiatives you're talking about. But for the foundation programs, we look at two major metrics. Uh, the first and most critical for us is what kind of social impact are you creating within the communities that, you've, that you're working, within the organizations that you're working. So by that we mean 
what are the outcomes that are being delivered to the participants in your programs. And we make a distinction, a very clear distinction between activities and outcomes. So it's not how many women went through your program, but of those women, how many of them have started their own savings account? How many of them are going through a job training program? How many of them have finished that program and are now on the road to getting a job or have received jobs? So it's really a, a, a shifting in minds and it's something that's taken place in the, in the marketplace for a while now between let's not focus on activities, let's focus on outcomes. So first it's the social impact and then secondly the business impact. So because we're doing good work in the community, then we can raise awareness of the issue and we can bring reputational credits to our company. So it's those two things. Great. And for young professionals interested in a career in corporate social responsibility, what skills and experiences would be most important for them to develop? From my perspective, um, I think one of the key aspects of this work is really having a genuine interest on the issues that are affecting our world. So it's it's not having a, myop, a myopic view, but really having a broad view of the world, of the landscape, what's going on, what are the key issues. We know that water is going to be a key issue going into this century. Um, we know that the, the difference between the haves and the have-nots is a huge issue that's affecting all areas of the world. So really being interested in social issues and then what role can you play to create some social change, some meaningful social change that really helps people move ahead. I th so the commitment to creating social change. And then once you have that sort of inner you know, drive, I think you've got to really build those those skills that are really important for this work. So strategic planning, analytical skills. So once you know what problem you're going to try to solve, you have to analyze it and what's the role that your company can play within that. So analytical skills, planning skills, and then general public relations skills. How to build relationships, how to really build win-win uh, partnerships with people at the local level, and just knowing how to work with people, how to engage people, and how to motivate people towards a common goal, I think are really important. And for experienced communications professionals who wish to transition into corporate social responsibility, what advice would you provide? Well, I think they need similar skill sets. So I would look at what is my portfolio of skills and see where the gaps are. So if I have gaps in any of those things that I just talked about, look for opportunities to build those skills. So if you don't know that much about community, can you work as a volunteer uh, or even work on a board, which gives you even more strategic skills around nonprofit management. So it's those kinds of things. You've got to look at what are the skill sets that you need, what's the gap, and then look for opportunities to build those skill sets, whether it's on a, on a paid or on a voluntary basis. Thank you, Patricia. This was great. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you.